So you got your mutt rack, and now it's time to put it together. I'll start by showing you what you should have received when you, when you got it in the mail. So first thing is the mutt rack base. Next is the platform or the cradle. Should have gotten four legs, two of these angled brackets, and then eight of these bolts with eight corresponding nylon lock washer or nuts, excuse me. One thing to note with the legs is that they are directional. So on the upper side that goes into the cradle, it's kind of this rounded uh, but square end. On the side that goes into the base, you can see it's more angled and it's kind of got these notches in it. So just something to note as you're putting it together. The tools that you'll need are two socket wrenches. So to attach the cradle to the legs, you are able to do that with a crescent or an open-ended wrench, but for the base you'll need sockets. I'm using half inch sockets on these. You can also use 13 millimeter if that's what you have. Something also of note is I'm using a 3 8 and a quarter inch drive for the base. Um, and I'll show this when, I'm, when we get there. A part of it is pretty tight, so you'll need that quarter inch drive. Um, and you can see what you get, it, get away with on the other side. And it might depend on what type of sockets you have. So with that said, We'll get into assembling. I always start by putting the legs into the base first. Again, I'm using this, the end with the angle and the, the cuts into it. Of course, the pegs that the mud bars hang on are gonna go towards the outside. And you slot this into each of these four grooves here. Next, you're gonna take your bolt I have the bolt head on facing the inside of the rack. So for this side, it's going to be here, over here. The head of the bolt is going to be again facing the inside. You want to line up everything and you'll slide your bolt through. There's going to be four things that it slides through, four tabs. And then you thread your nut by hand, and it's pretty tight in there, uh, so it might take some finagling. There, I got it threaded. So again, here, I use my quarter inch drive on this end, because my 3 eighths won't fit. So again, just depending on what type of socket wrenches you have, you might have to play with that. And then I use my 3 eighths on this side, because it's got the space here so that I can still actuate it. You want to tighten it down until these tabs slightly collapse to touch the tabs of the leg. You might have to put some muscle into it and get it in there good and tight. That's it for one leg and you'll repeat this for the next three legs. Alright, now you got all four legs installed to the base and it's time to move on to the platform. For this, you're going to need your angle brackets. And I'm doing this on its side like this uh, so you can view it better. It might be easier for you to actually tip up the stand at this point. The cradle on its bottom has these two grooves. That's where the legs go. You're going to slot your legs into the groove. And then you're going to take the angle bracket. It's got this flat side here and the side that's not flat, the flat side goes towards the outside of the rack. And you can slot this in the groove of the leg and run it all the way up into the top here. So the key part is that as you bolt the legs 
you got to bolt through that angle bracket. Again, the bolt head is facing towards the inside of the rack. Slot it all the way through, and again, nut goes on the other side. Here's a close-up view of that angle bracket installed. And again, my preference, what I recommend, is that you install all four bolts and just hand tighten the nuts um, so that you get all four of them in before you actually tighten them down with the wrenches. Once they're in like this, it's easiest to stand it up. And from here, tighten it down with your two wrenches, just like you did with the base. Nice and tight. You got those tightened. That's it for the mutt rack assembly.